Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because this one is one I am so excited to talk to you guys about and that is my own clothing line that I have launched called ELR Style. Ah! I'm so excited and I feel like I've been keeping this secret from you guys for so long. Obviously I did launch it last month, I told everyone this is happening, but I've been working on this since August 2020. Um, not something that was easy at all, I have gone from begging people to have a conversation with me. I've literally stopped people on LinkedIn, sending them messages being like, I've sent you an email, why are you not responding to me? From manufacturing companies all around the world. I think because of COVID, a lot of manufacturers didn't want to just start something with a startup company um, because they'd had loads of issues with brands not paying them and for their work and stuff. So I obviously come in in August, very naive to the whole thing. And I basically just say to people, I really want to start a label, which is, you know, to some manufacturers, not the most appealing thing right now. But I was really, really lucky to have some really good conversations and I have had a few over the last few months where I've tried it and been like, do you know what, that's just not right, the quality's not up to standard. Some people are very persistent as well, and <laughs> just don't want to take no for an answer. But I feel like I'm now in a really good place with the quality, the standard, everything. It's just more than I could ever imagine. So I'm really happy, super excited to be able to launch today. And I wanted this video to be a little bit more insight into the brand, me sizing quality everything that i've put into this brand so let's get going so you may have noticed i've got no nails on i'm really living on coffee right now because i bit all of my acrylics off i mean i am a very anxious person i do get stressed very easily I think I have ADHD, I'm trying to get diagnosed at the moment, but I do get overwhelmed very easily. So I'm trying to manage and juggle quite a lot of things at the moment. My nails took the brunt of that because it's not that I am worried, it's that I am such a perfectionist and a control freak that I want it to be perfect. That this, If this, when I launch, is not perfect, I am my own worst enemy where I will be so mean to myself and be like, why did you mess this up? When it's completely out of my control in so many aspects. So from issues to getting it delivered to us, to getting the website set up, getting the time, there's been so many things I've just I've not taken into consideration. Um, but I had no idea. Obviously, I'm a complete startup. I've got no funding from anybody. There's no investors. I have just literally been saving and saving and saving. So obviously, with my work on Instagram and TikTok, I do get paid for the ads that I create, and I have literally been saving everything that I earn since August. Made massive sacrifices. I literally saved up for a deposit for a new house and we have spent that money on the ELR stock. So I've literally invested my life savings into this company, which is a huge risk. And I am a person that really just takes risks and doesn't try to overthink it because if you overthink it, you'll never do it. I actually have a little story. So I have this quote on the backing of all my videos and it says you can't always wait for the perfect time sometimes you have to dare to do it because life is too short to wonder what could have been and I actually printed that off at my last day at my last job as a social media manager I took a huge risk and I only had 30k followers on Instagram and I just thought I know what I want to do, I want to be a full-time content creator, I have a dream, I want. I have a passion for this, I love to do it, I'm just going to take the risk and I did it. And it's, I've never looked back, I've literally, I'm literally the happiest I've ever been and I feel like I've really grown as a person in the last 12 months because I am finally at a stage in my life where I'm just willing to take risks and I'm not doubting myself, but occasionally I do have those creeping thoughts that come back into my mind where I think shit have i made the right decision this is a lot that i've put on the line what if but i'm a massive believer in the law of attraction i really do think if you 
project negative energy and you are constantly doubting yourself and you are constantly saying these negative things then you will attract negative energy whereas I try so hard to visualize what I want this to be why I want this what is the goal behind this and it's not to make loads of money and exploit people and just get something for cheap and then maximize profit at all i have invested so much of my own money into this because i'm so passionate about this i want so badly to create a clothing brand that is catered to women with shapes lumps bumps bums tums there is just nothing out there like that and if there is it's, it's almost a little bit too frumpy and i just want to show people that you can create a clothing line that is made for women that really empower women when they are wearing it i want them to feel good i want them to think oh i'm not i can't wear that because i'm not a size six like this range i've started at a size small medium large extra large xxl and hopefully as time goes on i will be able to extend that to even more sizes i have obviously focused on that my audience are mid-sized women between sizes 10 to 16 so i have tried to really focus on catering to that but then i've also incorporated the size 8s and the size 18s into that as well because i've gone from one to each side but majority of the clothing is super super stretchy so it will fit different sizes so for instance in the shoot that i'm going to show you today sophie is a size 16 to 18 and she wore the extra large swimsuit but then i also wore the exact same swimsuit which was in an extra large so it just goes to show that the clothing works with your body it's stretchy it it just complements curves in all the right places and then again the same with this bodysuit so this is actually my own design can't believe i'm saying that i'm actually so so dark <laughs> so this is my own design i'm wearing the medium right now in this bodysuit but then on the day of the shoot Gemma, who is a size 8 to 10, 5 foot 10, she also wore the medium and it fit her really, really well. So it just depends on what kind of fit you want. This for me, it still covers here. I'm not going to have like side, side boob out. You know, like sometimes you can get ones that are like that. This is still covering me here. I'm all covered down here, but I can tell it's like pulling me in here and it's working to like sculpt my body in a really flattering way but then if i wanted to wear the large and feel comfortable and maybe not have the same kind of structured like sucking in feel like shapewear does then i would wear the large but i have also combated this so i think from the feedback i've had with different people in different sizes trying the bodysuits on if you size down and you want it to be fitted so like i said this is a medium and i'm more of a 14 right now um i can still wear 12s I am actually wearing 12s, 14s and 16s. I just, I'm a very, <laughs> it just depends on the brand and what it is that I'm wearing. I'm quite small here and then I've got bigger legs and bum and here. <laughs> so I can fluctuate between 12, 14 and 16. Um, so I am wearing the medium, like I said, but if I wanted it to be a bit longer, so if you size down and you want a more structured look, then I would, really encourage you to get one of my extension clips i don't have one on me right now if you get the extension clip it clips on to the bottom of the bodysuit and it extends it for you even longer so you can still have this like structured shapewear feel and it will be longer whereas if you get the large so that will be the size that i actually am then i wouldn't need to get the extender because the bodysuit is already made to be longer so for instance Gemma, five foot ten wore this exact bodysuit in the size medium because it was fitted to her body and it wasn't pulling her in and it wasn't giving her that shape where feel then she didn't need the extension even though she was five foot ten because it was already longer and it was working to work to her body but if you wanted to go for a more sucked in kind of shape where feel like a bit like what i do with the primark extra small bodysuit kind of thing then I would go for the size down, like I've gone for the medium in this one, and then I've put one of the extenders on the bottom as well to just give it a little bit more length, but I'm only five foot two, 0.5 so the medium fits me fine anyway in terms of the length um but it's just one of those things which is just a nice option to have if you do want to have a bit more flexibility and just think oh my god on certain days i cannot be bothered to have a, a bodysuit that's tight i want it to just be like really loose you could just put the extender on whatever you are feeling like on those days that's why the extender is just like an amazing little bonus and 
as it says on this infographic I wanted this idea because we had some extra cuts off the bodysuits and I wanted to use the fabric as much as possible to improve sustainability and this whole collection has in mind that you will be able to wear these bits in multiple different ways get them out every single year so the swimsuit is designed not today it's quite classic and it's flattering so it can be for any occasion if you're going on holiday going to a spa it's perfect to always get out and have a piece of swimwear that's going to be a good staple piece so that's why they're called my staple items and again the same with the bodysuit I've already put on the website different ways for you to style a bodysuit but I'll continue to use this bodysuit and show you in multiple different ways to wear it with different outfits and really push this idea of sustainability by buying items once that you're going to have for a long period of time rather than having you know numerous different items constantly in your wardrobe. I want to try and really push the idea of creating staple items that are key in your wardrobe that you think oh my god I've got nothing to wear. I will build an outfit around my staple pieces. So that's kind of the idea behind this first collection and that's very similar with the shorts the shorts are super floaty they have the waistband which pulls you in and then they are loose fitting on the legs with this side up and down style so you can wear them on the beach you can wear them on a hot day in the UK with a t-shirt with a, this bodysuit with swimwear with a nice white shirt there's so many different ways you can wear these shorts they are so comfortable for me they don't chafe because they are longer between the legs I've made them an extra inch longer obviously if you are a lot taller they will be shorter on you like they are on Gemma who's five foot ten as I mentioned um, but again if you are suffering with chafing great tips are liquid talc is meant to be amazing with these shorts as well if you wanted to you could put shorts underneath them because they are floaty you can get away with it but I think talc or something like that is a really great way to stop chafing um but I just love the look of these shorts I think they're so flattering and I've wanted to create a really floaty short because it's so annoying every year brands do create a floaty short but then they sell out so quickly and they're really hard to get and the quality is just rubbish like I always get a floaty short put it in the wash and then it shrinks and it just looks terrible so this is my first sample of the shorts that I got and I've put it through the washing machine I've tested it in loads of different ways because I wanted to make sure that things are keeping the quality the shorts and the bodysuit I have invested so much time into making sure that the quality is the highest it can possibly be and I feel like it really is now like I said I haven't ironed these I've washed them they've kept their shape they've kept the quality of the fabric it's just so good I'm so happy with it honestly I really really am but obviously we are a really small business this is a startup we probably are going to face things along the way where I think oh that's not how I want it to be but this is not a finished product this is not a perfect ending this is just the beginning and I'm really 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 appreciative of all your support and understanding patience everything because this is a dream of mine that I've had since I was seven years old I used to <laughs> My auntie, who's no longer with us, I don't want to get upset because it really is something that is very emotional still to me. Um, but my auntie, who passed away from leukemia three years ago now, um, she was the reason that I got into wanting to be a fashion designer because she used to draw me a model. <laughs> Gosh, sorry. She used to draw me a model on a piece of card. She used to save all the Christmas cards for me and then use the side of the Christmas card that people didn't write in and she'd save them all for me. So when I used to go and stay with her when my parents were away working, she would draw the body and then I would do the design on the body. And that was like my, that was so exciting to me as a seven year old little girl. I was like, I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be a fashion designer so badly. Um, and she always really believed in me and I just wish I just wish so much that she was here to see to see I'm so emotional at the moment it's absolutely crazy <laughs> sorry um, I just wish that she was here to see that this is a reality and I know she would be so proud of me and I know my family is so proud of me Anthony has helped me so much, literally, I can't even tell you. He has 
he has started to, to work on this full time with me and he is doing all the distribution stuff and honestly i'm just i'm so i'm so proud of myself i'm so thankful that this happened and my mum and dad you know they are real working class people they brought me up to work hard and i've learned so much from them that i know nothing is guaranteed in life and i just think it's so important to be raw and honest with you guys that this is not I'm not launching Boohoo, I'm not launching Misguided, uh, this is me, This the, the designs are created by me, I found a manufacturer, I'm paying up front, I've paid so much money up front to have them made, there's no guarantee that it's going to sell, but I am just putting every faith and belief in myself that I've created something that I love, I love to wear it, I feel amazing in it, and I just can't wait to see you guys in it and I hope and pray to God you feel how I feel when I'm wearing these designs. So I'm going to show you now the behind the scenes of the shoot we did. I'm so thankful to my friend Tom who let us use his home studio and he did the photos for me. My friend Lutzia who did the makeup. She's absolutely amazing. There's been no retouching or airbrushing on any of the photos. So you can really see how stunning the makeup was on that day. And then my fantastic models, Sophie and Gemma, thank you so much. They traveled from Birmingham and further. It's just crazy that they came on the day to help me out so much. And just my friends and family have been had so much support and just I listen to me complain and moan and be tired and neglect them for so long because I've been focusing on this and now it's launching today and I'm just so excited. My nails, I've obviously taken the brunt of it but <laughs> nails can be fixed. I'm going to be packing all of your orders over the next few days of Anthony. I've even got, I've got a system ready and raring to go. I'm so excited to send them off in the bags we've had made. I'm just so happy that this is finally happening. So enjoy the behind the scenes of the shoot right now and I will catch you guys in the next video. And I'm so, so thankful for all your support on ELR Style. This is just the beginning, guys. Thank you so much, bye. Chilling. Just relaxing like I'm in. <laughs> <Me> <laughs> <almost>. <laughs> but instead I'm in Bramley. <laughs>